What's up everybody, Matt Nuzzo. We are here at Real to talk to you about the 2020 Nash Pivot. So there is no question in my mind with the design of this kite that Kevin Langre and is going for a three-peat for Red Bull King of the Air. He wants it bad, okay? And the reason I say that is that they have definitely modified the, the pivot um, to become more of a freestyle beast, right? So one, you know, Kevin got on this kite as kind of a whim because he didn't have a small enough uh, torch to go out on. And this is, you know, four or five years ago. And when it said, man, this thing has got really access, easy access to huge, huge air. It was kind of designed as more of like a wave kite, but he said, this thing just goes ridiculously high. So they've continued to evolve the kite. And as you've seen, it's working for Kevin in the Red Bull King of the Air that he's winning on it. And in, in, it's totally different kite than what everyone else is riding. But they've done some changes to this year's kite that are really unique and I actually personally really love. So let's just dive right into it. The 2020 Pivot, um, you can see that in this zone here, coming all the way around to the wingtip, there's a lot more. Particularly right here, there's just a lot more space, right? There's a lot more wingtip to it, right? By having more wingtip, means you're gonna have more power through the turns. It's gonna be better for looping, it's gonna be more stable, and it's gonna handle that kind of that big, punchy, heavy-duty gust that those guys are riding in. I mean, Kevin's riding like a nine meter in like, you know, 30 to 40 miles an hour wind. This is definitely way outside most humans range, so he's taxing this kite unlike most riders out there are gonna ride, but it's pretty cool to see the, the development that this kite can A, handle that type of, uh, that type of uh, power and load, but also they're changing it so that full wing tip really gives you that, like when he loops a kite, it's just gonna give him that really uh, kind of good downwind pull, and then it's also gonna catch him better. I've also found that, that fuller wing tip really helps out in the drift, right? So drifting on a cut on a surfboard or foil, you know, that fuller wing tip just makes the kite back up as opposed to back stall. Generally speaking, a tighter pinched down wing tip kite is gonna have um, it's gonna uh, not drift as well as a fuller wing tip kite. So this thing has been drifting really, really well in, the, in our test sessions. Um, also, that full wing tip is just gonna give you lots and lots of stability and, and that frame is just going to be really rock solid you know that's that's really what he's looking for when he's out there um sending it hard and just as a, a layman as a general rider you know i'm going out i'm jumping maybe a fraction of the height that kevin's jumping but it still is really noticeable and really comfortable while you're riding it um, it does add a little bit more bar feel too, so you're gonna feel where the kite is. In the past, some of the complaints of the pivot was that you kind of lose the kite in the air, so you kind of have to like check out where it is, where again, that fuller wing tip's gonna give you a little bit more bar feel. So a couple other improvements they've made. Um, you know, the bridle system, similar to what they've used in the past, but they, it's gonna keep it consistent and uh, just has this little slide pulley on it. But the main big change they've gone to is on the underside here, the octopus system, no more, right? So they have new inflation tubes um, that are external inflation tubes. They got a big fat inflation tube, so they deflate really nicely. And they've got a, a, a new inflate valve that they got from their SUP, uh, from their SUPs. They found they can pump those things up super hard. Um, so your kit does come with a little, little bag of tricks here. So it does come with this extra valve, um, which is definitely kind of nice. So you can just kind of pop that thing off your valve ever. things. It's really easy. It's just a little push button plunger and it just dumps the air really easily. And, uh, you know, the first time I didn't realize, first time I pumped it up, I didn't realize you have to have the, I have the plunger down, you have to have the plunger out if you want the thing to hold air. Otherwise, take the top off and it, and it blows. Also, it has the SUP uh, inflator valve. Each one of these comes with this. Don't leave home without it. No pumps come with this unless you have an SUP pump. So make sure you have this. It does come in the kite bag uh, with every single kite, but that is a unique valve that none of the kite pumps at this point have. I don't think Nash's kite pumps have these things at this point, but they will over time. Um, but that's the SUP inflator valve. Um, so each kite comes with it. Make sure you have that. Um, so cool that they changed their whole inflation system. The only downside to that, and I'd say the only downside, is that the old octopus system where you had the dump valves on the, on the struts, that allowed you to uh, really deflate the kite and pack it up super, super small, right? So you could dump the valves, all the air would come out, and it deflate super small. Even with the larger diameter hose on the external one pump system uh, that Nash is using on this, it still doesn't deflate quite as small. You have to roll your kite twice. So the downside comes with they're using the same size bag as that they're using on their previous version. And this bag is tight unless you're really, really good at folding your kites. I'm terrible at folding kites. I just don't take my time. I just roll it up, stuff in the bag. And it's like, I was wrestling with it. It's like, you know, sideways, whatnot. I just had to keep 
stuffing the thing until I got it in there. So the bags are a little bit tight for uh, the bigger size kites. All things being said, new inflation system, new uh, wing tip design, definitely okay by my, by my standards. A um, few other things about the Nash, they're using this quad tex material, uh, really heavy duty material um, that, you know, basically super strong. They do these shark teeth uh, darts on the end here. Instead of putting Dacron across the trailing edge, which makes it heavy and also doesn't stretch right, they just do these shark teeth uh, uh, darts in here. That's going to help keep the, um, the kite from uh, uh, really kind of fluttering out and getting soft on the trailing edge. Um, overall, the construction improvements they've made on this, really super impressive. The flight characteristics, super impressive. Again, this kite is amazing, and actually I think it takes a lot of the turf of, of many of the other kites in the Nash lineup. Um, you know, some, some of the other kites kind of become obsolete with this thing becoming such a sick freestyle kite and such a sick wave kite, and it works on the foil, and you can teach on it. It's kind of that silver bullet kite that like works for everyone out there. Um, also goes to that high, high level performance. So it, Nash kind of just made the rest of their line obsolete. And you know, the pivot is just sick. And that's why we love it. It's like, hey, this thing is just works awesome for everyone. If you want to get more reviews, you can go to our website at realwatersports.com or you can check us out at 252-987-6000.